fun. So right now I'm really excited for something that I feel like most normal people probably wouldn't get this excited about it, but you guys know how much I love cooking and baking. Anything just in the kitchen mesmerizes me and it's so much fun for me. So since moving to LA, I bought a lot of the basics, but I didn't really buy the things that I was used to having at my mom's house in Tennessee. You know, at my parents' house, my mom has like everything because she loves cooking just as much as I do. And here in LA, I've kind of had to change a couple of my recipes because I didn't have the items I needed to complete them and stuff. So also, it is finally getting really chilly in LA, so I have an excuse to rock uh, like snow hat, what are these called? Like a toboggan or something? Um, anyways, yeah. So I went shopping at this place called Sur La Tabla, which is at the Grove here in LA. Or actually, it might be at the farmer's market. I don't know, because they like share a parking lot and they're like in the same place, but half of it's the Grove and half of it's the farmer's market. And it's like on the line of the half. So I'm not really sure which one it's at. But they're like basically the same place. So um, I went to that place and in French it means on the table. So that kind of makes sense as to why it's like a kitchen, like shop type place. But I got a couple things that I'm really excited about that I wanted to show you guys. And I was like, I should do a haul on this. But I don't know if you guys are going to find it interesting or fun. Or I don't know, do you guys like hauls on like things that aren't beauty and fashion because like I'm putting this on my vlog channel so I feel like it makes sense but you guys need to let me know in the comments below because I feel like I don't know I, I would like to do more hauls on just like random things I buy for myself I don't know okay so the first thing I got is this really really fine grater that looks like this. Now the thing I use this for the most is when I was at my parents house my dad's favorite dessert is carrot cake. He loves carrot cake and for the carrot cake you can really grate the carrots as big or as thin as you want depending on how you want it to taste but um, the thinner you go I find the more it just kind of like melts into the batter of the cake and it's so good and I kind of like um, I don't want to say mastered a carrot cake, but if you guys like carrot cake, let me know in the comments because I would totally love to show you my recipe. Since living out here in LA, I've only made it once and I made it with my bigger grater and it just didn't taste the same because the carrots were more chunky and stuff. So I actually, since it is my dad's favorite, um, dessert, I kind of made it a lot over the years and kind of wanted to find like my favorite recipe to do it. So if you guys want me to do that, Leave it in the comments below. Do you guys like carrot cake? I don't know. I feel like that's such an acquired taste. Carrot cake. It's like vegetables in your dessert. So I don't know. It's my dad's favorite. So I've always made it for him. But you need one of these really fine graters to do it the way I like to do it. Also, if you're trying to get the zest off of the lemon or anything like that, that's great for it. Okay. The next thing I got is a leaf cookie cutter. This was only a dollar. And I got this for a tutorial that will be coming up for you guys soon. I have an autumn tutorial that my mom taught me forever years ago. And um, it requires a leaf cookie cutter. So I'll be doing that soon. Look out for that. Now the next thing I got, I have to admit, I wasn't planning on getting this. It wasn't something that I needed for my kitchen or anything like that. But it's something that when I saw it, I was like, oh my goodness gracious. So I bought it. And it is this cupcake set. And it says ooh la la on it. And it comes with 12 of these and 12 of these kind of cupcake um, little papers. And then it has uh, 24 total things to decorate. And they're little poodles and little Eiffel Towers. Can you guys see that? Oh my goodness, it's so cute. So um, I got this because I feel like if I'm doing like a girls movie night or something like that, I'm going to cook really cute cupcakes and like maybe like with pink frosting or pink sparkles or something and then use this set. So this actually wasn't something that I needed to get, but I saw it. And I'm a really impulsive buyer. Like if I'm out shopping and I see something and I don't need it, but sorry, wow, I just got like a brow lift without even having to go to a doctor. Wow, I'm only 18, I don't need a brow lift. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm a very impulsive buyer. The next thing I got is an eight by eight dish. I actually really need one of these. I have a nine by nine, but an eight by eight, if you use it for a cake or brownies or anything like that, it just makes them a little bit thicker than the nine by nine does. So I actually prefer to use this for a lot of things like crumb cakes and stuff. I've been using it in my nine by nine, but I've been wanting to pick up an eight by eight. So you would think it wouldn't be that big of a difference, but the inch really, it adds that much, you know, to the top of the cake. So makes sense. And then the, sorry, I just like threw that on the ground. Don't worry, I'll wash them before I use them. Oh goodness. Okay, next thing I got is a 9 by 13 cake dish. Now my mom always told me if you're going to get a cake dish where you think you might be using that size to like carry it to parties or anything, go ahead and buy it with the lid because it's hard if you like buy a pan and then you go try to find a lid that fits it. It doesn't like work as right um, or it's hard to 
fine. So she was like, if you see one that has a lid, go ahead and get that one. So I got the 9x13 with a lid, which I don't have this at all in LA. I only had a 9x9 pants. So now I have a 9x9, an 8x8, and a 9x13. So I am excited about this. And it also, this is a 3-in-1. It comes with the cake pan and the lid, and then it also comes with a quarter size cookie sheet down here. So that's nice if you're making something like um, peanut butter balls or something that you need to stick into the freezer. My freezer isn't wide enough to fit a whole cookie sheet, so you have to use these kinds. So that would be nice. Um, yeah, and I have more things. Sorry, I'm like totally scatterbrained. I'm so excited. I just got back from the store. Like literally walked inside sat down and I'm like, oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so um, next thing I got, oh, this is a rolling pin. So I actually don't have one of these out here in LA. Obviously, I don't have any of the stuff that I hauled today out here in LA. Otherwise, I wouldn't have hauled it and I wouldn't have bought it. But this actually goes with the leaf cookie cutter tutorial. You will see both of these together, but just a rolling pan if I'm rolling out pie dust or, or pie crust, pie dust, goodness gracious, rolling out pie crust or anything like that. Really get your back into it. It's like a little bit of a workout, but this is just a random one. I don't know. It was just one of the ones they had there, and so I picked that up. All right, now I only have a few more things. I got these prep bowls, so they come like this, and it is everything from one eighth cup to two cups. It's in five different sizes, and I got it in two different colors. I use these all the time when I'm cooking, and a lot of times if I'm preparing for a dinner party or anything like that, I'm cooking so many things at once that I have to stop in between each thing and do the dishes. And so this is going to be nice because I can just keep cooking, and then at the end I can just spend however much time I need to to like clean up the kitchen. But it's kind of interrupts my like zone when I'm trying to cook and then in between everything I'm like doing the dishes and cleaning and then I cook again with the same things and then I clean it and then I do the dishes you know what I mean so I got these just so I have two more sets of little bowls and stuff like that then I got a pie pan this is only six dollars or 6.95 my mom always had these these little um like pyrex pie pans and i always like making pies in them and since it's autumn during the autumn and winter time it's my favorite time to make like warm pies and um I've just been using lately when I make my pies just like the disposable pie tins and every time I make it and then I just toss the pie, pie tin out and those things are like a dollar, two dollars a piece. So $6.95 equals like three to six of the other pie pans and I've already probably used at least six since I've been out here in LA. So it's cheaper for me just to have one that I can wash and reuse and I also feel like that's better for the environment. So um, yeah. Next thing I got are just some mixing bowls. I don't know if you guys noticed, but like in my pumpkin spice cupcake tutorial, my mixing bowl was just like this big bowl. It's actually a popcorn bowl that I got at Target. It's just like this plastic rickety bowl. And um, having nice like sturdy mixing bowls, I don't know, I never invested in them since I lived out here. And now that I'm spending more and more time cooking and stuff, I was just like, you know what? You need to go ahead and do it. You can still have your other ones in case you need to use them, but now you also have some nice ones in case you need them. So I got a set of three. They're purple, pink, and um, uh, what's this other color? Oh, green. And it is two quart, three quart, and four quart. And then I also got a giant um, mixing bowl. So this one's just in white. They didn't have a matching one, but you can see this bigger one. Actually, they kind of, it looks like this one's bigger. Holy moly. This one's probably a five quart or how much is it? 5.8 quarts so it definitely is bigger than the four quarts so this is like my giant mixing bowl if I'm making like three batches of my pumpkin cupcakes in one or something so yeah that's everything that I got from Sir La Tabla. I'm sorry that I'm so excited about this you guys are probably like she's excited about dishes that she bought for her kitchen she's crazy but no I don't know if you guys get excited about this. Like, I don't really have another hobby. You know, I have my beauty and my fashion thing that I have going on. And then I have, you know, work and everything that I'm doing. But to really relax, my favorite thing to do is to cook and bake. So I feel like if what I need to make me be able to do that are these items, I don't know. I just get so excited because I look at them and I see all of the things I'm going to be able to make. And I cannot wait to do the leaf tutorial for you guys or video. I don't know. Do they call cooking videos tutorials? Because a tutorial just means means you're showing them how to do it. So if I'm showing you how I cook something, that'd be a tutorial, right? That's really confusing. Kind of makes my brain hurt. Maybe it's just that this hat is too tight. I'm not really sure, but my brain does hurt right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and go, but um, yeah, leave it in a comment below if you guys don't mind me doing videos like this. I know that sometimes when I ask you guys your opinion on things, a lot of people leave comments that are like, it's your channel, you can do whatever you want. 
I know that. I know it's my channel and I can put up whatever kind of videos I want, but why would I want to put up videos that you guys don't want to see? I want to put up videos that you guys are going to enjoy and stuff like that. So, um, I know that a lot of you have been commenting that you're loving the cooking and the baking videos and stuff like that. And thank you so much. That really means a lot to me because it's something that I'm going to be doing anyways. And if I can film a video and show you guys how to do it and all the people that like, I got so many pictures of the pumpkin spice cupcakes that you guys made. And that just makes me feel good. Cause I'm like, they made my recipe and it's not even my recipe. I found the recipe online, but they made, you know, the recipe that I showed them. And then took the time to like tweet me a picture or something so I really appreciated that and if you guys ever do any of my recipes you can send it to me or um, you know send me a picture or something I would love to see that it just makes me feel good because I know that you guys enjoy the same thing I enjoy but basically my point of that ramble is let me know if you like these kind of videos in the comments if I do haul more like kitchen accessories or something would you guys want to see them also with the holidays coming up I am a freak when it comes to holiday decorating like literally freak of nature should be tattooed on my forehead. I go all out for decorations and the kitchen, since it's like my favorite place to be, um, I definitely really kind of Santa Claus it out. I celebrate Christmas. I know all of you guys don't. Um, some of you do, but that's kind of the theme that I go for because it is what I celebrate. But if you guys want videos, like when I start buying my Christmas dishes and stuff, like just let me know in the comments if you guys basically is the cooking and baking and home decor and that type of video are you guys interested in that so leave that in a comment below i'm sorry if this video was totally off topic and rambly and crazy and if you guys think i'm you know crazy it's completely understandable part of me thinks i'm crazy too but the same part of me thinks i'm sent no that makes no sense okay i'm gonna go ahead and go before i embarrass myself further but i will talk to you guys later bye